Qingdao is China's oldest beer, having been established some 100 years ago by British and German brewers. Scale is very important in the beer market, not just because of the size of the country, but also because of the difficulties of differentiating beer brands, because principally they use pretty much the same technology. Qingdao has two main differentiators. The first is its access to the Laoshan Springs in Shandong province, where the brand originates. And the second, of course, is its heritage. <laughs> Marketing aggressively in 2012, Qingdao increased its sales despite reduced beer consumption tied to China's economic slowdown. To reach its key male sports watching demographic, Qingdao engaged leading Chinese Olympic athletes as spokespeople. They included gymnast Chen Zibing and diver He Zi and hurdler Li Xiang. Leveraging interest in the London 2012 Summer Games, Qingdao launched an online Olympic game called Applause to Excitement. It also ran a campaign on micro-blogging site Weibo, offering consumers a chance to win a trip to London. Cultural marketing remains key for the brand. During August, the 22nd Qingdao International Beer Festival attracted almost 4 million visitors to the brand's home city. The brand is sold in more than 60 countries, including India. During 2012, Qingdao also announced a joint venture with Japanese beverage firm Santroy to produce and sell beer in Shanghai and the neighbouring Jiangxi province. Shanghai is a key market because of its affluent young, urban population. Operational improvements during 2012 included the development of the brand's 61st production facility in Lushan, Sangxi province in the southeast. It also set up a fermentation laboratory in Qingdao. Qingdao Breweries was launched on the Hong Kong and Shanghai stock exchanges in 1993. The average Chinese person drinks only half the beer consumed by the average American. Now that's what I call a great marketing opportunity. Gumbay!